The Right to Information Act passed in the year 2005 empowers Indian citizens to seek any accessible information from a public authority and makes the government and its functionaries more accountable and responsible. Let me explain to you about the power of the Right to Information Act by giving you an example that happened in Kerala recently. The service book of an employee was hidden by the people in his own office for 23 years. The staff produced the book within 24 hours after the information commissioner took a stern stance that their services would be affected. The service book, which was not given to the wife and son for five years, was produced by officials all the way from Idukki to Trivandrum in one day. This story is about Jairajan, who was an officer in the health education department at the Idukki EDMO office and his family. Jairajan passed away in 2017 while on duty. When contacted under the RTI Act, officials in the office said that Jairajan's service book has not been returned since it was sent to the Accountant General's office in May 2000. For the benefits and dependent appointment of Jairajan, who died in 2017, his wife and son had been going to and fro from the government office of Nilambur to Idukki for five years. They have dragged on for 23 years with a problem that could have been solved within 24 hours. Finally, the Information Commissioner took the position that the remarks affecting the service of the officer who is obliged to provide the service book will be recorded and the book suddenly appeared. It is unclear whether the book was hoarded for 23 years deliberately or out of negligence. Jairajan's service book that was sent to the AG's office to record the promotion information in May 2000 had returned to the DMO office in July itself. But whenever Jairajan inquired, the reply was that the book was in the AGS office. Even when he was sick, they did not give him the book. Cruel neglect despite death. To the RTI query of the letters, the officials did not hesitate to reply that the book was in the AGS office. Then the complaint reached the bench of the Right to Information Commissioner A. Abdul Hakim. Abdul Hakim's intervention in the matter is highly appreciable. The DMO office did not submit the report sought by the commission. Evidence collection was conducted at Malapuram. The commissioner's warning that if the service book is not produced within 24 hours, there will be a bad remark in their own service book worked wonders. By the time the commission returned to the chamber in the capital, officials from the Idukki office appeared with the service book. The commissioner also found that the service book returned from the AGS office was received by the EDK DMO in July 2000 itself. The commissioner ordered to verify the benefits immediately and send the book to the director of health. One can only imagine how an official who did not hand over the service book of his colleague would respond to a common citizen. The fact that the book, which had not been seen for 23 years, was produced within 24 hours when the information commissioner ordered it is a testament to the power of the RTI Act. This incident also exposes how irresponsibly the officers are behaving, even to those who have worked in the same department and retired. Despite the Chief Minister reminding many times that every file is a life, it's a sad state of affairs that some officers take pleasure in maxing out each and every file. Abdul Hakim has ordered actions under Section 21 and 22 of the RTA Act against a clerk and a public information officer of the EDQ DMO office for providing false information. The order is to levy a fine of Rs 25,000 and to suspend both of them and take departmental action including investigation. A show cause notice was issued to both of them. Fair action should be taken against officials who fail to do so, otherwise incidents like this will happen again. Often, when the heat of such issues are over, organizations and superiors scramble to save the failing officials. In the context of this incident, the government should decide to issue a directive to all the officers to provide a duplicate copy of any document within the specified date if the original certificate is not found. Any document can be lost, misplaced or destroyed. Therefore, for any document, there is a legal provision to take a copy from the respective departments. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global. Thank you.